in the deck. Um, it's got a Maelstrom Pulse and another Abrupt Decay in the board. Um, you could call it a bug deck splashing white for Stoneforge Mystic. Uh, and Swords to Plowshares and Lingering Souls, however you want to look at it. It's four color Stone Blade. Right. So, uh, Death Rite Shaman there just to uh, add another angle of attack, especially with all these graveyard decks around. Right. Death Rite Shaman's a nice little tool sad, to have. Sad for Andrew, he's playing against the non graveyard combo deck here. So, he's not exactly, you know, just main decking hate here. Um, he does have things like therapy that can't be flashed back, and uh, of course, pass and flames, which is a, a key element of the deck. But I've seen this deck win easily without the pass and flames. And Andrew is on only five cards for this game. Okay, so, and that is just a, a killer game one because Andrew has a lot of dead cards. We're talking about a lot. I see a, I see a life from the low. Keep a one land or a no I land? A I see a zero mm -hmm. land. It looks like a zero lander, and, and he, he draws, and it's not a land. Yeah, so. That's rough. Adam has about a year here to set up. I see he drew the pass in flame, so if he did have Death Rite Shaman, he could be able to start eating away instants. Thing is, Adam's uh, looking pretty good against a mold of five here. He's got a lot. I see double dark ritual to the left. Is that a, I can't see the other black card. It could be a tendrils. I'm not familiar with the artwork, but I only see a, a sliver of it. It's not a yeah, card to play very often. But he's got infinite cantrips here. He's got four cantrips, I think, or three cantrips, and he's got double dark ritual. So I feel like he has a lot of the pieces already he needs to go off. And he's going to duress. duress. That might have been the card that you... Uh, yeah, that's a, that is a card. So Adam wants to see what's going on. We see Jace the Mind Sculptor next to a Thoughtseize, an Abrupt Decay, a Brainstorm, a Snapcaster Mage, and a Life from the Loam. So. I would take the uh, Life from the Loam here, right? Is that good? Life from the Loam uh, <laughs> seems like a questionable... And it's an interesting decision. That'd I don't think that's what I would go with. That would be an interesting decision, yeah. Sadly, uh, Andrew needs a couple land to even use that. So I think he's going to take the thought seize here. Yeah, I was going well, with the Brainstorm. That's what, the brainstorm, what I thought. Yeah. Because Brainstorm's going to... If he finds one land, he can find Brainstorm's yeah. going to help him get back into Maybe, it. Maybe, so. though. Because Brainstorm... Brainstorm's more likely to help. Right, it, it would have to it would have to hit a fetch land in the brainstorm because non fetches would be the same pretty much series anyway. But I I think I agree. I think the brainstorm's the right pick here. A uh, second duress in Adam's hand, by the way. Oh, so he can just kind of. Well, I guess it's time to wants, take yeah. the uh, second card now, which is going to be a thought seize here. It, it honestly depends on your hand. If he can go off in the turn, I take thought seize. You know, if he could go off soon. If he has an infernal tutor hiding in there somewhere. Yeah, I didn't see one. Oh, so All right, does that mean uh, Andrew drew the uh, the Miracle top deck land? So he has a second duress, but he has a brainstorm, I assume, here, right? Adam Pro's that better, so he's going to be brainstorming. Got some sort of uh, stoppage for a, a ruling. So, not quite sure what exactly happened there. Maybe we'll get. Uh, oh, it's it's, a, it's an appeal on something. I'm not not sure what exactly happened. Maybe some shortcutting of some sort. It seemed like there was a fast fetch. Right. It might have might have been a misunderstood shortcut kind of thing. Adam's trying to explain to him what he did. Andrew is. I want to double check here. I see the head judge in the back being explained the appeal if you look behind Adam. Oh yeah, you can see it back over Adam's, uh, well it's our right, it's his left shoulder. You can see the head judge getting uh, briefed on the situation. Adam's a great guy. I met him at an Invitational. I played him in a, in a feature match. He was playing Dredge. He mulligan the three. Um, Alright, so this Twitter says Adam, all right, so he forgot to draw off Ponder. That's what, uh, that's what the buzz is anyway. Okay. About to find out for sure. I agree with uh, Feline Longmore, by the way. You can play High Tide fast. Is that what she that's said? That's what she says. You know, this is from, oh, from our you, discussion. Do discussion you think her opinion might be slightly biased? Well, or? she can play high tide fast. <laughs> she won an open with it. I think you can play uh, uh, turbo fog fast as well. However, that's what I'm saying. You don't play, hate the deck, hate the player. So we should well, just we, hate. we should probably like a, a strong. Should we ban <laughs> ban slow players from uh, the game? <laughs> 
or uh, put them into, uh, we could segregate them to Agrodex only, give them the Agrodex as their only choice. I think that they are just going to have to learn the hard way and that, that you know. I think maybe enforce slow play rulings could be, or give it more teeth. More, less warning, more, like less talking, more action when it comes to sure. playing slow. Because it doesn't affect one, you're affecting 300 some odd people. Or however many else are in And the not tournament. counting the staff, and sometimes we've had to close events because we're getting kicked out. We had to carry them somewhere else. I don't know if it happens often in Star City. I've had to move PTQs multiple times because of... Yeah, the, the event space event. has to... Yeah, because of that. And All right, there's the draw off the ponder. Are we good? We're good. Okay? We're good. Okay, planes off the top for Andrew, finally, with his, uh, his first land of the game. I think Adam's going to brainstorm here. Maybe not. He's going to wait till his turn. <laughs> Being very careful. Draws a Gitaxian probe, I believe, off the top. <coughs> He's gonna, he should probe first to get a card deeper, I think. Then again, he could be saving that for... I mean, he's just saving for a storm down here. Oh, uh, that third Dark Ritual. Man, he, he is... He's a Cabal Ritual. He, we know he has a second Duress. There's a third Duress now, I think. There's a two Duresses, I believe. See those two right there? I think yeah, I think so. So three right, dark so rituals. Lots of action for Adam. And there's that duress. All right, show me your hand again. Give me the thought seize. Okay, you drew a GK. Yeah. Looks like thought sees is uh, what Andrew expects him to take as well. And there it is. And a second land, a basic island for Andrew. So uh, I think he attacks with thought sees and brainstorm here. Right. They, they, this is the most confusing. <laughs> Battlefield I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> How can that be his graveyard? How can it possibly serve as a graveyard? That's an interesting place to put your graveyard. I mean, Andrew is playing Dredge, right? No, no, not Dredge. Not, uh, not Dredge at all. Mr. Martell has made a public service announcement. Yeah, stop to, keeping no landers. Yeah, then, stop keeping no landers. Says. That um, seems like reasonable advice, but, you know. It is not fun to watch. Sometimes you just want a lot of spells. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes. I mean, going to four is, uh, has a heavy taboo behind it, which is understandable. It's hard to win on four, but it's much harder to win with zero land, especially when you're holding GTA. That's a mold of four anyway, you know. Uh, Polluted Delta from Adam cracks, and he's going to find presumably a land. And look at that, he did. Found a volcanic island. So these players are four and one, or? I don't, we don't know at this point. We'll find, we'll find out. out. I want to see what Adam, his record is here. He's a, uh, if you guys don't know him, he's he's been around the Star City circuit. He's also commentated before, and he's also uh, he's no he's no slouch. He knows <laughs> he knows a thing or two about spells. It seems like Adam has a planeswalker that duresses every turn. Right. <laughs> uh, I think. All right, we're hey, going off. We got two sets of dice, which all means. Right. So we have uh, oh, ritual. we have six seven mana here, right? Seven mana? No, six mana. So we're six mana and nine spells. Infernal Tutor is the card that I thought about. Yep. And there's Andrew's the, now now going to scoop him up. That is a tendril. That was rough for Andrew. He's going to try to uh, tendrils try for to... twenty two damage. Yeah, I mean, the the funny thing is that Andrew kept an Olander on a mall to five. Didn't draw his first land until I believe turn three or four. Turn, was it turn two? Jeez, yeah, remember, like when he, remember when he took the brainstorm, he drew that planes right after him? Yeah, okay, the well, whatever. Universe. I mean, it still felt like a, a planes is not a land for Stoneblade. Yeah, it can't I mean, do anything to interact with Adam. It has to be an island or swamp at best. Yeah, so Andrew's going to try to, well, hopefully muster some more lands this, yeah, <laughs> this yeah. game. Uh, well, Adam's this got, a, got a couple LOLs in the creature column. We'll see if he brings any from the sideboard to, to clear that out. <laughs> All right, so uh, right, look, let's look at Andrew's side because Andrew's down a game. He needs to win this one to, to keep going. So we've got, he's got a, a, a sideboard full of four counter spells. Four Force of Will, zero in the main deck. So four Force of Will, two Fluster Storm already. Two counter spells. So he's bringing in eight counter spells. He's got two Cabal Therapy. Yep. And he, the Vendillion like Click. Vendillion Click, also very good. So uh, he has to bring in nine cards. Yeah, so I don't think he needs, let's see. The GTA is gone. Absolutely. So probably, Sword of Plowshares. Uh, yeah, in there. Swords of Plowshares. So that's Abru five cards right there. Abrupt Decay. Abrupt Decay. That's seven. Um, Engineering Explosives. That's eight. 
and, and one more card. Uh, I'm sure there's something. Do you like death ray shamans even <laughs> like? It just does two damage. I think maybe the uh, no, maybe not the life. I don't know how good the life from the loom is in this deck. But uh, I would actually board out the uh, the intuition. You really can't really intuition for much. You can go get like you know more hand disruption. Mm -hmm. but it's such a slow card. Either that or the life from the loom. Both are very slow cards. Uh, he has three wasteland in his deck, so he's still depending on kind of. Uh, controlling Adam's mana, and Adam needs black, blue, uh, and red rarely, but he needs it sometimes. Yeah. So maybe leave life from the loom and, and get rid Just of Just a potential wasteland lock, yeah. Right. <laughs> Adam's side. <coughs> Excuse me. Adam, uh, I kind of want him to board in uh, some more hilarious creatures. Yeah, he's got a. Uh, I think maybe we should bring in some, uh, some maybe a conversion package here. But Adam brings in the therapy. He has three carpet of flowers. Carpet of flowers. Um, not sure what that card does. Oh, really? Oh, it's the uh, so, it adds mana if your opponent controls. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. I remember now. It's an enchantment. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I remember now. Yeah. yeah. It's a uh, yeah. cyborg card. For, I remember uh, Char Belcher used to board it in uh, once in a while too. And it's during your main phase. Yeah, at the beginning of each of your main phases, because you get two. Right. Uh, if you haven't added mana to your pool with this ability this turn, you may add up to X mana of any one color to your mana pool, where X is the number of islands target opponent controls. So right, right, right. It's, uh, it's a nice little uh, card to have against the... Uh, yeah, you get to use it once you get to choose. So you bring it, I mean, I guess you're bringing it against any other deck, right? So this would be one of those decks? Yeah, sure, it's just free mana. Right, so one therapy, three carpet flowers, four. He has a Trop Island ran away in the board. I'm not sure, um, we'll see, I guess because he has some uh, cyborg cards that go with it. Uh, Massacre, he doesn't need, and then two Ignorant Bliss. Um, and then a Caracas and two Chain of Vapor. So he brings in the therapy, brings in the carpet flowers. Uh, the match is getting started, so let's see. After Andrew starts throwing cards at Adam, we'll see what he uh, has to do here. Ignorant Bliss, a dissension uncommon. Uh, exile all cards from your hand face down at the beginning of your next, at the beginning of the next end step. Return those cards to your hand and draw a card. So it's to protect your hand from uh, from hand disruption, which mm. Andrew has plenty. Right, right. There you see Carpet of Flowers because uh, Adam's played it on turn one. So here's with the free mana. So, so he's gonna have one free mana. Yep. He has, oh, he has an LED, he has Rituals, so he's got all the mana. I think it's an Infernal Tutor all the way to the left, so he's got a lot of stuff here. I think it is. I can barely see. Adam keeps it pretty tight. Yeah, that is. The last card on the left is an Infernal Tutor. All right, so, so I he think, adds black for free, goes with a Duress. I think he could possibly go off if he has two Rituals. And he may be just looking to see if the coast is clear here. So he can go Ritual, Ritual, LED... Infernal Tutor on the stack, obviously, sack LED for mana, get to go Hellbent, get whatever card he wants. I think he's going to wait a turn. Well, the uh, the Duress just got a Counterspell. Okay, so... Without the information, though. Right, so let's see what happens here. So I think he's going to preordain a wait a turn. And he draws another Ritual and a Swamp. He's going to put them all... He has all the rituals he needs. I think he's going for... Brainstorm off the top. Either more Hand Disruption to defend his uh, combo. Uh, Andrew's well positioned here though because he's holding a force. He's holding double force. Right, so yeah, the force It's in, just uh, going to represent one force right now because that's the only two blue cards. Right. Those are the only two blue cards in his hand. Um, if he attacks with Counterspell and Polluted Delta here. Right, yeah, that could do some real serious damage. And he threw Sorry, Batter Skull. Andrew, we're, Andrew, just, we're just messing with Andrew's you. <laughs> thrown his hand at Adam and he's thrown a Batter Skull at Adam. And now. He has a stone forge on the bottom, his graveyard on the top, and his lands in the middle. So, interesting. So here's the duress that I sandwich. said that Adam really wanted here. Uh, he has two free mana, so he gets a duress here for free. Yeah, two islands, so just, just the two. This duress is going to be backbreaking, because Andrew now is defenseless to the combo. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm going to take a force that, that neuters the other force. There's right. Batter Skull, Lingering Souls, and Academy Ruins left in the hand. Yeah. Andrew is, seems a little shell-shocked. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's just like, I can't, this is he ridiculous. He can't be happy about, and this is, like I said, he could have gone off last turn, I think. But I think now he's going to try to go off 
legit style. There should be a black floating, which I believe is that right. uh, represented there. Right Adam there. wants to land here, and he does not. Just for an extra mana that he can have. Because he already has everything he needs. He has double LED. That's a ton of mana with Infernal Tutor. So, but he only has one Cabal Ritual. Can you put the other Ritual on the bottom? Yes. So maybe he will wait another turn and ponder some more and try to hit a little more... A little action. more action just to uh, just to shore up his combo. Yeah, I can, right. you can see LED, LED, double Infernal, Infernal Tutor, double Ponder, and uh, Cabal Ritual. So he's cast two spells this turn. Yeah, Duress and Brainstorm. If he casts double LED, that's four spells. If he casts the Ritual, that's five spells. The Infernal Tutor is six. That is not enough to tendrils him out. Uh, Andrew's life, he should be... He's at 20 because he did not pitch the one life before. Yeah, he never, he so never he's, cast He's got to do the full 10 here. So he's going to go off here. He's going to cast... Like I said, he's going to get to six he spells. He casts two LEDs. Those are considered cast. You know, there are three. Yep, so that's one, two, three, four, five spells cast. Six for the Infernal Tutor. He's going to crack these in response, give himself uh, one, seven, he's going to have, should have uh, six, seven, eight, minus two, should have six, seven mana. Seven mana. And that's, that's where he uh, Okay, he so he up. has set dice on seven. And that's the sixth spell, right? Oh, wait, he's minus two, he should have four mana, I'm sorry. He sacked two LEDs at six mana, mm -hmm. he used the ritual to play for the Infernal Tutor, he has four left. I think the other dice represents... Um, how much mana did he have from the ritual? See, I get lost sometimes playing these decks here. He's going to help us out in a minute with his dice situation. Yeah. Okay, so he's right, casting so he has seven. He has I was seven. pretty sure he had seven. Now I was getting confused a little bit when I he counted it right. It. Yeah, <laughs> you were time. right the first time. And then he, uh, I, I thought he had. He used that color for a storm dice earlier, but you see the off camera a little bit. The storm dice are on the left there. Yeah, so the storm dice. Uh, or say eight right now, so that's eight spells, there's six mana left in his pool. Past in Flames has been cast. Right, he's going to get the nine, he's going to get the tendrils here, and that's lethal. Yeah, so there you see the Infernal Tutor is the uh, the ninth spell, and the tendrils will be the tenth, and that's ten spells, tendrils of agony, storm to count ten. Andrew Marion right. falls to Adam Prosak in really one game, because the first one <laughs> Andrew didn't play. Right, right, right. Uh, it wasn't really. Uh, if you want to get me real, an opportunity. if you want to get real me real confused, just uh, throw on a storm deck and uh, you know have me uh, tell you play by play here. Next time I might allow uh, Joey Pasco here to take the reins. Uh, yeah, I think you did perfectly fine. <laughs> I think you know what I mean. It's, it's a just, tough uh, deck, man. I, it I is a tough. It's a lot to keep track of. That's right, what it is. Right. I don't think it's um. It's from it, a I don't think it's a, eye, We're in an eagle eye standpoint. It's hard to keep track of. You're right. Yeah, it's definitely a tough deck. I don't want to make it sound like that, but it's a lot of. Uh, bookkeeping almost, right? And that's why he has the, all the uh, the dice there. He's, okay, this is mana. 